Hello, people. Hello, hello, hello. Come on in. We're going to have a little conversation. Ain't going to be long, but it will be a conversation. So, this is about a conversation. So, we're going to talk a little bit, okay? Hey, guys. Tap, tap, tap that screen. Tap, tap. Hello, Poetic. How are you? Is that better? What? Hello. Let me Hello. See. I hear you. Oh, good. good. I was just, I was sharing, trying to make I was sure just sharing it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you know, that. The DMs, Thanks, Webby. But, What's up, y'all? Thank you. Thank you. We're trying to get a little more organized with these lives, but for which I am very grateful, Poetic. Hey, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> We get there. How you doing? How's everybody doing? Got. Yep. Oh, uh, well, I got a really bad headache. My hands are still swollen. I twisted my right ankle yesterday. And I got a rash on my ass that's so bad I can't even sit down. Oh, but, oh okay. Sorry to hear that. I can't complain. All right. I'm so, kidding. <laughs> I just so, twist my ankle. <laughs> All right. So this, this, everything we know going on. Swear we were in a live earlier. Yeah. Everything that we got, everything that we got. All that shit. All that shit. Oh, which, <laughs> which part? Oh, yeah, that's what, all of it. All of that shit. <clears throat> From the beginning, the middle, the end. When, Damn. I'm going to tell you something. We was we were talking about those three presidents from those three, those three colleges. And uh, girl, when you came in and dropped that bombshell, well, you saw how I acted. You saw how it, I acted. You have spent billions of dollars to Hamas using a backdoor group to dispense the money. They use Qatar. Yeah. Yeah. Qatar ain't no backdoor group. They're all out in the open and out in the public. And the Qatari, uh, I don't know what he is over there, the prime minister, the president, whoever he is. He said, yeah, Netanyahu said, keep it going. Yeah. BB said, I, I, going, player. Weeks ago, weeks ago, I said, Bush, Condoleezza Rice, and Netanyahu, when that election took place 17 fucking years ago, they put their money on Hamas because they figured we can control them better than the other group. Mm -hmm. He's still doing it. Mm hmm. Yep. I'm like, good lord. Th yep. This is this is so money talks and bullshit runs a marathon. This me. is so just uh, look, I don't I can't even think of beyond, a word for it. It's beyond incomprehensible. Like, remember when um I was a teenager <laughs> when everything started breaking about Oliver North and the Iran Contras. Remember that? Yeah, I, was, I remember. I was, mm -hmm. I was but a wee little lad. Yeah, I was just a wee, just a wee babe trying to make it home from school every day in Gary, Indiana. That was me when I was growing up, and we heard about the Iran Contra hearings, and I was sitting here thinking to myself, I was like, man, that's inconceivable. We actually spent money helping them purchase weapons, only to come, only to come to find out not only did we spend money helping them purchase weapons, but we actually gave them weapons on top of that. 
I thought tap the screen, the tap the screen, tap the screen. The Contras, we were in no danger whatsoever of being invaded by the Contras. Right. No. This man actually paid, and that was just a few million dollars here and there. This man actually paid millions of dollars, millions upon millions of dollars in suitcases that he had guitar send over to the Gaza Strip to hand deliver to Hamas. Billions of dollars. How much fucking money are we sending to Israel every year? Three point million. Three point three, and I looked it up. And Texas is sending; they're buying twenty million in uh, Iranian bonds every year. What? What? What the hell? We are keeping their economy afloat while ours is on fucking life support. Mm-hmm. But they will and, quickly and you know tell you. The they will quickly. They will quickly tell you we're an independent comfort country. No, the fuck you're not. Yeah. Yeah. Sitting there. Sitting there. And and what did BB say in that article I read you to you? He wanted a single state solution. Mm -hmm. Which meant all he wanted left was Israel. No, of course. So what did he do? He helped fund the terrorist group that attacked his own country. I just don't, I can't, oh my God. Look, when you said that to me this morning, I spent, and I got down off the live, I, I spent the next hour reading different articles and different ways that they had done this. But you know what one thing I couldn't find is that garbage guy was talking about. Uh, here's where the U.S. did it. I'm like, man, shut up. I couldn't, it was, it was all money that was sent from Israel to Qatar. They put it in suitcases and walked it over to Hamas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I kept putting it in, I'm sorry, go ahead, Poetic. Oh, no, I was clearing my throat, I'm sorry. I think I, uh, I thought and, I was on because I called the IDF a bunch of wussies. And here's the thing, the screen that he put up, I kept trying to put it in the notes because I'm working. That's That chart was from 2018. Whose live was that? Uh, uh, um, Rainey's. Rainies. Oh, Thank okay. You. Okay. The guy brought up this chart talking about this is where America was sending money to Palestinians, and it was a humanitarian aid package from 20, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019. Yeah. Now I feel embarrassed for anybody who was president between 2016 and 2019. Oh, wait. Never mind. Never mind. There you go. That right there, that shit right there. But that, that was the thing. He, and I've seen people on other lives because other people have gotten wind of this story now. Uh, I've seen people on other lives talking about how Joe Biden funneled $600 million through Qatar from, from South Korea through Qatar to uh, prop up Hamas. And I'm like, wait a minute. They've been planning this for two years. That 600 million is still sitting there. What, what, what are you talking about? I had somebody in my oh. comments today say that that uh, he got that money from Qatar to give to uh, Palestine for assistance and Hamas stole it. I'm like, no, they didn't. I'm so like, no. Is, they, they've gone from terrorism to bank robberies? I guess so. They, 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 they for like, over they, a decade. For over That's a decade, Netanyahu, Netanyahu gambled that if I keep giving them money, you know, kind of like somebody pays off a bully, uh -huh. they'll stay right there. They just, they just yeah, keep giving or, them hush money. Or it's one just, of those situations where you, where you, you pay somebody to try to go and beat up the bully. Yeah. This is, this is what I see happening. He paid, he paid somebody to try and go and beat up the bully, which was himself and had all the all the war power in the world at his fingertips mm -hmm. and uh rainy was rainy was like joe biden better come out and say something about this shit. i'm giving him till friday i was like he got till five o'clock to make his ass on the evening news god damn it because this pisses let me, me be off. i mean I'm and let me be real joe about this let, let me be real about this while they busy trying to go after um um uh what's her name um talib 
AOC came out and said, it's a fucking shame that we have not demanded a ceasefire and it, it no longer can you pretend you care about human rights. Yeah. When I said last night they're going after seven people, AOC is one of them because all of them have stood together. Yeah, because uh, what you call it? What's your what's her name? Cory Cory Booker, the girl from Bush. Uh, Bush. Cory Bush. Cory Bush. Yeah, Corey Bush. She, she had a uh, uh, on. I saw it on C-SPAN. She had a uh, uh, and like a meeting, like outside, you know, and stuff like that. She had Talib and. Uh, the other the other girl there and it was for doctors for ceasefire and one of the yep. doctors who was for my ranch she's like you know she's like i live in boston and she's like but you know before you know when COVID started i thought tele telehealth was you know the thing and she's like but she has patients that she still deals with over there in pakistan because that's where she's from and stuff she has doctors you know and stuff like that and she's yeah. like and she goes and it breaks my heart because there's a lady who got a three-year-old who was injured and she's in a coma because her skull has cracked. And she's like, and I try to tell her, you know, make sure she's hydrated, but I can't because there's no water. I tell her to make sure that you put her, keep her in a quiet place, but I can't because they're staying in a school and there's bombs going off all over. The other daughter, apparently, who was injured also, the father took her to Egypt. But she's like, I'm, I'm you know, all this time during COVID, I was thinking the whole tele telehealth thing was was an awesome idea you know because we were helping a lot of patients you know here in the states and she's like so i'm trying to do the same over there and she goes and it breaks my heart because there's nothing i can do right. and, and right. she was talking about these different doctors it was not a, a doctors without borders but a doctors this was doctors for ceasefire and then there's a doctors for um Doctors for Palestine and, you know, different. Well, the doctor, yeah. hold on, let's, let's, hold, hold on. And, and, and the, the doctor that they, that they scooped up in that mm -hmm. one hospital where they said yeah. the tunnel was going. Yeah. That doctor didn't even work there. He was from another country. He came in to help. Yeah. Now, wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Here's, here's the biggest question. Uh, where's he at now? They took him and said, we think he may have ties to Hamas. We ain't seen hide nor hear that man no more. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. When it comes to the ceasefire, here's what I think. And this is just me speculating here, thinking out loud. I think I think the United States, because uh, apparently Hamas and Hezbollah, uh, Hezbollah is firing rockets uh, from Lebanon and Hamas is firing rockets and still fighting over in the Gaza Strip. So I think the United States wants a complete and total ceasefire of every side, not just, not just Israel, but I do shame the United States for not saying anything or condemning, or at the very least, the United States should have condemned it uh, because Israel has the weapons to be able to fight off a rocket attack. Fuck, we gave them to them. Yeah, and yeah. I was I was reading today where um, a Lebanon they're dro they're dropping white phosphorus that apparently they got from from uh, from us. And all this time, you know, BB been saying we ain't using white phosphorus. We ain't using fr white phosphorus. Well, apparently yes, you, you fucking are. are. You might not be quote unquote using it on the Palestinians, but you're using it on in <laughs> Lebanon. Oh, it's he was using it in Gaza too. Was. Wait, huh? is Lebanon he, is Lebanon using it or is Israel using it? Israel's using Israel. it on Lebanon. Oh, okay. Because when you started the statement, you said Lebanon is using white phosphorus. I was like, oh, wait, no, I'm no, sorry. No, oh, I, okay, yeah. No, I was wrong on that. No, um, but no, up, apparently it's, it's white <laughs> phosphorus. It's apparently white phosphorus that they got from us. A long time ago. Yeah. Like. yeah, which is a chemical weapon. Mm hmm. Which yep. Third degree burns. Yep. And sooner or later, we're going to see the pictures coming out of there where they have those those kids and women and elderly people and hell, maybe yep. even some of the Hamas people uh, have chemical burns. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Listen, listen, I like this. I like this little poster they put up when your enemies list includes 
uh, entities like Doctors Without Borders, Human Rights Watch, uh, UN, UNICEF, um, Save the Children. When you consider those your fucking enemies, you're on the wrong side. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. They have Doctors Without Borders in Ukraine. They have Doctors Without Border in uh, Palestine right now or in the, in the Gaza Strip and the West Bank. Um, and the UNICEF, the UN, and with the relentless bombing, some of those people have lost their lives. And, yes. and that, we've, lo that, we've, lo we've lost over 50 reporters. Yeah, 50 yeah. reporters and journalists. Yep. And that relentless the bomb should have should have been saying something from jump. You ain't after a boss if you're doing that relentless bombing. No, nope. you're not so reaching that, that the right tunnels. There, that right there should have shot out red flags saying somebody's getting paid. That's why. That's We're why I said to you, that tunnel. dude. Was, that dude was mad at me earlier because I called his. I called his army a bunch of wussies. Yes. Oh well. Oh, well. Where are your real soldiers at? Because you you holding a lazy war. <laughs> Basically, that's what the fuck you're doing. Because when in um in in Iraq, we dropped yes, we dropped bombs, but then we had our soldiers going in. Mm -hmm. yeah, when you seen Israeli soldiers go in, we dropped bombs on mm -hmm. firing positions that we couldn't get to without causing casualties, and so right. they went they went bombed them or they hit them with artillery, one of the two. Yeah. And then no. our American forces went in there, house to house, door to door, tunnel to motherfucking tunnel. And that was how they found Saddam Hussein. Mm -hmm. yeah. They just want to sit there and go, oh, oh, well, we think there might be under some chance a Hamas leader in this refugee camp. So we're just going to drop a couple of bombs on it and see what happens. 2,000 pounds of ordnance coming down. Yeah, and there was already hide from it. There was already a story in Root Root Router, however you pronounce it, that Root. was uh, last week or something. I saw that was talking about how Israel is using AI to uh, for you know to pick their bombing points. No, nah, I don't believe that. It, like I said, it was something I saw in in uh, Routers Routers, however you pronounce it. Yeah, but some some things I I just I just don't believe they can barely. I mean, people in this country are barely using AI right now. So I, the fact that Israel has somehow gotten their hands on a piece of it and they're using it to pick their bombing points and basically they're not in charge of their war. Um, well, that's going to no, be a fucking thing. lying. That, yeah, that's just a lie. I don't, I don't believe that in any way, shape or form. They, they, they lying, trying to make it seem like, oh, yeah, we're pinpointing our targets. No, the fuck you're not. Otherwise, you would not have, what, um, 400 Hamas and 17, over 17,000 people dead. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Right. Exactly. But you they fucking lying. Up. And it's, T, it's like I told y'all earlier today. When I saw that ambassador talking about how we're doing everything we can to make sure that we are selectively hitting targets, doing everything that we can to preserve civilian life. No, you not. Use a lie. Like, what kind of bullshit are you trying to sell here? Because it, it's too expensive and I ain't buying it and you shouldn't be selling it. Oh, oh okay. You have over 17,000 men, women, and children unalived. Can you imagine if the United States had done something like that? Oh hell! Right now, well, more they're, they're people so, they're have so died. People. More people have died than in World War Two. And they're so used to people believing the hype and the bullshit, they think that they're going to keep spewing it out, not realizing that hey, we got more more ways of communication now. We got more ways to find out facts now than we ever have. So this has been going on for years but like i said what pisses me off is like over here all the selective outrage they act like israel this whole thing between israel and and gaza and all that just started <coughs> that's what i say right. that's what pisses me off is the selective outrage it's like this shit's been going on since before i you know before i was born you know i what was I mean? in a lot I, I was in a live 
and uh, I may as well call them IDF agents that yeah. come into life with the fucking script. And someone said, but wait a minute. What about the Jewish people who are protesting and saying, not in my name? What about those that are calling for ceasefire? What about those that are even in Israel, some of the people, the civilians calling for ceasefires? Well, they, they, they have, that's just self-hate. They, they're just showing their self. They were like, yeah. what, what the fuck? Wait, they want to save lives. They want to stop the bombings. And you're saying they're not Jewish enough? Yeah. They're Jewish. They're not Jewish, like like George Santos. He's not Jewish. He's Jewish. No, they they, they No, they, I know. I'm being um, sarcastic. The thing is, I I'm hear being, you. I hear yeah. you. But the thing is, these people are clinging to the tenets of their real religion. Zionists don't give a crap. Yeah. Zionists just want the land. Right. 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 They're yeah. The true Jewish people that there are actually practicing the faith as it is not exactly. not how they not how the other people have interpreted and interpreted it. not how zionists do Let, let's, let's yeah. put that word out there not the yeah. way zionists do zionists right. will quickly say we are the chosen people and when you ask them who the hell chose you well our book the book you wrote says you are the chosen people because you wrote it that way yeah and i don't i don't buy off on this bullshit either that joe biden is a zionist no no he's not but you know he's who stuck I between a rock zionist bb who yeah oh hell baby. yeah hell yeah oh hell yeah hell yeah him and his crew him and his entire guy you know what do y'all remember back in the 60s and the 70s there were no nazi hunt yahtzee hunters there were yeah. jewish people that were tracking down yahtzees who yeah. lived who were in florida and south america and all of that these i'm beginning to think this is an offshoot of them they was hanging out because there were time. some there were some jewish people who turned on their own to get a little bit more time to survive. Am I gonna get some more bread? Am I gonna get some yeah. support? There were those who turn were turncoats. Oh yeah. Yeah, you got that in you got that in every every everywhere. 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 I see that menorah. It made me think of a story I read this morning about how how the uh the Nazi on wheels uh Abbott went to a, a menorah lighting and I'm like you got a lot. I, I, I was sitting there reading it. And I'm thinking you got a lot of damn nerve after, after uh, your GOP there were all about uh, signing that thing to, uh, to not ban uh, the legislator from being Nazi mm -hmm. sympathizers. When I I'm say, like, when I say, when I'm like, I that's say, a, that's a slap in their face. When I say there are Jewish people who do who are not okay with this, look, that's a up close of that menorah. Uh huh. That's beautiful, actually. That's a very be that's a beautiful picture. Yeah, the fact that they 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 transformed their menorah like this. They wanted to be known. We ain't with those folks. Yeah, yeah. They ain't invited to the cookout. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, thank you. But damn, the whole thing is just like the more I the more I find out about what's going on, the more I get aggravated and the more I'm just sitting here going, well, how could anybody let this happen? And uh, BB's cabinet, these are such weak-minded people. They don't want to do nothing about it. They don't want to stand up against him because he's got the courts now and this, that, and the other. It just, it just no. makes me sick. It ain't about them being weak. This is his administration, his hand-picked fucking administration. Oh, they are they fine know. with this. I know they won't do nothing about it. The War Department over there won't do nothing about it. The Supreme Court won't do nothing about it. None of his legislatures, uh, not all of his legislatures are handpicked. Nobody will do anything about it. There was one, there was a couple of people, one of the uh, articles I was reading earlier today, there was a couple of people that when they found out what was going on, they told BB, this, you shouldn't be doing this, this needs to stop. And he was like, don't worry about it. We're never gonna get found out. And that's a direct quote from one of the like the left wing 
legislatures over there? Good Lord. See, Good like I was, Lord. Like I was saying the other day to you, I said, it's like he got a taste, he got a taste of that, he got a taste of that blood, and now he's like addicted to it. Yep. 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 This man is all about what money can I make? How much land can I make? When when years ago, when he gave that freaking speech about come home to the motherland, to the to the bosom of our native soil. Like it was a exactly vacation commercial. How many people, how, yeah. What land? They're not making new land anymore. Yeah, you can't. So how is every every Israeli around the world going to come to Israel? Unless you take over some more land. Yeah, that that was the plot of Superman Returns. It ain't the plot of fucking the the plight between Israel and Palestine. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> yep. It it it's it's bizarre. It pisses me the fuck off. It blows my goddamn mind. My fellow Americans, to speak up is not to be anti-Semitic. Because guess what? There are a hell of a lot of people in Germany who didn't speak up in 1943, Yeah, 1944. That, that, that's just a dog whistle here. Because just like here, anytime you say anything bad about the United States, oh, you're anti-American. No. It just, it, no, it just means I think there's good, but I think it could be better. Yeah, oh, I th I see something that's wrong, and yeah. I'm gonna call it so wrong. Just because, just because I say something bad about it and how something is screwed up, so but that's what that's what the right you know the right magas always say. Oh well, you're anti-American. Well, hell, you talk shit all the time, about, horrible about how horrible America is now. And did it? So I guess you anti-American, huh? But they don't see okay. it that way. Well, I'm not going. I'm not going to even get on the magas. I I've just I'm. I've been, yeah, we're gonna leave been, that long. Yeah, I've been I've been putting down magas all day, so I'm gonna just kind of rest on that one. But oh, that's fine. No, that's fine. I get you. I get you. But but I mean, but you see what I'm saying, though. It's like oh yeah, you know, and, you know, it's just the hypocrisy of it all. Yeah, that, and well, like yeah, I said, that's absolutely. what irritates me is the selective outrage of this whole thing. You didn't he, didn't even hear about it till October seventh. Now that's see, all me, you hear about. See, let me break it down on a smaller scale. This would be like me paying my neighbor's teenage daughter to come over here and steal my wife's jewelry only to turn around and set their house on fire. Yeah. So why did you do this? That's it. Oh, this is one more thing. Another university, uh, George Washington University. So the panel was having a discussion and they said, and I quote, Hamas has just as much right to resist as Israel does. And damn if they didn't lose their mind. You failed to discuss the, the essay and the, the unaliving by terrorists. They said that wasn't part of the discussion. The discussion was, does Hamas have a right to resist? Do Palestinians have a right to resist? That's it. We're not going off over here. We're going by everything that happened before October 7th. So I would, and I would, they lost their damn mind. I would say two things to that question: Does Hamas have a right to exist? Me personally, I would say absolutely not. No, Hamas does not have a right to exist. Okay, their sole purpose <laughs> in life is to unalive as many Jewish people as they can possibly get their hands on. So no, they don't have a right to exist. On the other side of that coin, however, if the people, the main country that they are fighting against is helping to prop them up with millions upon millions of dollars across uh, 10, 15 years, whatever the, whatever the amount of money is, then yeah, they have their right to exist because they got the money to exist because of what BB has done. He has given right. them money. He has paid them to stay in power. He has paid them to do everything that they needed to do to plan this attack. And it's like we said earlier, they had a pamphlet in hand over a year ago that said, hey, here's what's gonna happen. Here's how they're gonna do it. And they all, BB was like, ah, I don't think they'll be able to pull it off. But you kept giving them the money to pull it off. Yeah. You kept you giving go. them the money to pull it off. That'd be like me saying, I don't think I'm gonna be able to have this, the money to get this car repaired 
right? But I've already paid the mechanic. Yeah. Everything yeah. he needs. So the car is repaired now and I'm going yeah. down the street again. I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna give you the money, the pew pew, the getaway car. Or I'm gonna give you the pew pew, the getaway car, some gas money, and the directions on how to get to the bank to rob it. You yeah, got everything, go, oh, you, got everything, everything, like everything you need. G yeah, I'm gonna give you a GPS so you can get out of there clean. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And, then, and, I'm, and, 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 and then we have. To... I'm sorry. And didn't uh, and we didn't, have uh, uh, she got it. uh Israel basically create Hamas kind of like we did. Uh, here we here we go. Let let me repeat this again. George Bush, Condoleezza Rice, and Netanyahu fucking forget, created Hamas. Don't forget they Darth built Vader. the monster, and now they can't control it. Don't forget huh? Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Who? Yeah. Oh, Cheney. Yeah, he was part mm -hmm. of that too. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. That's true. I see. Yeah, yeah. See, here's the thing. They had the PLO. Oh my God, they're terrorists, they're evil, they're, 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 okay. Then there was uh, Fafa, I know I'm mispronouncing that. Oh my God, they're terrorists, they're horrible, they're running for office. We need to run something, guess what? Hamas, we're going to run Hamas against them. Now what they got to deal with? Hamas on fucking steroids because they've been pumping money into them for 10 goddamn years. Uh -huh. Yeah. And T, like I said, like I said this morning, the one thing that pisses me off is, you know, the Taliban with minivans and the assholes with casseroles. They're the ones out there talking about Joe Biden gave him six, gave six hundred million dollars to Iran so Iran could give that money to Hamas. And they turned around and attacked Israel. You need to do your research. Look it up. Benghazi, Bald Eagle, America, Hunter Biden's laptop, Herschel Walker's fake badge, Marjorie Trader Green talking about Jewish space lasers, America, apple pie. <laughs> this is this is the this is the thing. Everything that you went through, Swerve. They were they have started trying to say, well, you know, the money that they sent to Qatar, uh, excuse me, this has been going on for 10 fucking years. During that money? time. There was that no money, Joe Biden in office. That that money, that six hundred million that got released to Qatar from North, South Korea, so we could get the those five detainees back from. I Israel, thought it was only six Iran, billion. That money is still sitting there. No one has touched it. No one it was, has touched yep, it. Six that six hundred million is still sitting right there. Yep, it's still sitting there. Then what's the this six money? It, it, it's almost as if we're on, um, you know that that um, that toy that ride that you do at the play at the playground where you get on and it goes round and around faster and faster. Oh, Y'all yeah. remember that yeah. thing? Yeah, that, the one that, that death, the wheel, yeah, that the wheel of death. That, yeah, it's the wheel of yeah. death. We are sending money to Israel. Israel sending it to Qatar. Qatar sending it to Hamas. Back and forth and back and forth. That it's money coming out of us. Yeah, going it, there. Yeah, it's also excuse me, but this um fourteen fucking billion dollars that they want that got held up in the Senate. But they then made special arrangements to give one hundred and six million dollars to Israel for weaponry. Well, no, that was a that was actually a weapons purchase. Israel turned around, and Joe Biden authorized that purchase of one hundred six mm -hmm. million dollars for those tank shells. Mm hmm. Yeah. Joe Biden authorized that purchase. That's why I said Joe Biden. He he's got some explaining to do, y'all. He need to come out and talk to the American people because I'm sure. Look, if we know about this, the White House better damn well know about it. They know about this shit. And Joe, and Joe Biden needs to come out and say something. He needs to come out and forcefully say, "I can no longer support the Israel plight and trying to do this, that, and the other thing." Now that we have discovered that Bibi Netanyahu has been giving Hamas this money to prop them up over the past few years, we can yep. no longer support, yep. I can no longer support him. Any any package coming to my desk uh, with Israel money on it, it's going to be vetoed. And we have to assume that he didn't, he didn't already know. You, I mean, oh, you know, know, it's it's like one of those things, like with like with you know with 
just as an example, like with racism, what do they say? We don't, we don't talk about it. It'll just go away. And that's kind of no, like no, no, how no, they no. are with this. You know, no, if we just don't no, talk it, about the money, it'll just go away. No, here's the thing. The, I didn't really understand how a president's day goes until George Bush actually was being interviewed. He said, 6 a.m., I'm up. They deliver my, my pre-briefing forms. What's going on in the world? What's, what's the hot spots? He said, I have breakfast with my wife. I go down. I spend four to six hours being briefed by the generals. Joe Biden has had the fucking briefings. Don't tell me he don't know this shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know what? Those, oh, I, that's, I, that's why, what I said. That's why I said, we, if we know, they damn sure know. If we know, they damn sure know. I mean, the, the squad has always been a very independent group. Okay? That progressive <laughs> group, which has grown from like five people to over 20 people now. So when they yeah. say the squad, they they list in all the names. So yeah, the that fact that these that basic five that these anymore. the fact that the, the the main seven have all come out and have all said, mm -mm, no. No, this is a genocide. We can't do this anymore. It means they have been in fucking briefings and they know about this shit. So they, 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 they're not coming out and saying, God damn it, we are funding uh, the slaughter of the Palestinians right now. They ain't doing that. But they dropping enough fucking breadcrumbs. Yep. Exactly. And I'm, I don't care what no one mm. says. I'm always love the squad. I want, the, I yeah. want them to continue I love to say them. what they need to say and say what they want to say. Um, without the without the worry of being censured, I don't I don't like hearing a Republican talking about we need to turn uh, Gaza into a parking lot and nothing happens to him. Nobody says anything to him. Yeah, yeah. So oh, Mi Micah, Micah asked, asked, can Joe get rid of the peace treaty? Here's the thing: it was a fake peace treaty. There were no countries at war. He went over there and negotiated a trade deal, but really that was it. Oh, are you? Hey, Micah. You by the way, hi. Wait a minute. Are you talking about the Abraham Accords between Israel yeah, and that bullshit. the UAB? Two countries that were... Mm, that and that was, and that, that's what always got me about the Abraham Accords. I'm like, well, how many countries was in on this? And it turns out it was only two. And, they'd never, two. and they'd never and been in conflict. Those two countries were two countries that were never fighting each other. It was just it was just something he could say that he did he so his his supporters could go back and say, well, he did this because 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 he knows they're not going to look any further than the words coming out of his mouth. Well, thank no, you. They, thank they you. They wouldn't look any further. I sure would shit. We did. would. We, we would. would. <laughs> I said they wouldn't. I said his supporters wouldn't look any further than the words coming out of his mouth. She got the squeaker. Yeah. Oh, squeaky. Somebody got the squeaky. Yeah, don't yeah. uh uh Maze Maze pull the squeaky thing out of uh some toys Dawn got from oh. yesterday. Oh that sounds like that sounds oh. like Demi Artemis. Jesus. Okay. Her feet are so that toy's big, done. Really, her feet are so big she can't really hold on to it, so she's getting frustrated <laughs> with it. <laughs> that, that's, okay. that's mine. To chew on it at the same Damn. time. So she mad. I I started, so I just but, cut out the squeaker from the minute I get it. I'm like, here, we ain't even, I ain't even gonna do this. <laughs> but, um, but no, this, this, this shit needs to end and it needs to end quickly. They have mass graves piling up in, uh, in Palestine. Um, and like I said, that dude was, that dude this morning, he was mad that I called his army a bunch of wussies, you know, but if, if you're mad about the aid just going to Hamas, how about you have the IDF walk it in? They got tanks. And when you see these Hamas people coming after it, guess what? You know exactly who they are at that point. You yep. know exactly who they are at that point. So go get them. Go get them, Tiger. Yeah. If you got the if you got the backbone and the balls to do it. Exactly. Exactly. I was I'll trying to do and this is I was trying you know to get this to fit on the screen. Oh, I was I'm trying sorry. to get this to fit on the screen. This Israel has dropped 50 tons of explosives on Gazans civilian populations we, we, in 63 days, we, three we times it. more than the Hiroshima atom nuclear bomb. We we call that ordinance. 
T, we call that ordinance. Ordinance? Well, no, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> shit. That that's not even a that's not even blocks and those aren't homes anymore. They're fucking rubble. If they dropped that much, then these had to have been two thousand pound J Dam bombs. Uh, no, apparently they were just they 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 got in their airplanes and they just carpet bombed for yeah. hours well, on end. Well, no, no. Remember, a carpet bomb is something totally different. A carpet bomb is a whole other piece of ordinance in and of itself. If they if they're claiming that this much ordinance has been dropped more than the Hiroshima bomb, mm -hmm. that had, those had to have been 2,000 pound J dam bombs because those bombs Maybe are designed, like when it comes to an apartment complex or a tall building, um, mm -hmm. I, th I think the max is like six or seven stories. Those bombs mm -hmm. are actually designed to go through the roof all the way down to the bottom floor and then detonate causing mm -hmm. maximum damage from the bottom up, which is what collapses the building. Yeah. Right? yeah. And that and that's what they did. I mean, you look at some of the neighborhoods in Gaza, it, it looks like some, it looks like a scene from Saving Private Ryan or mm -hmm. Saving Ryan's Privates, whichever one you watched. Well, so um, saving, saving Ryan's Privates was was a pretty good flick, if I do say so myself. But, um, but yeah, that see, look at that. Look that, at that. You know what that reminds me of? Remember, T, remember when this when that big tsunami hit? Oh, yeah. And these entire cities were washed away. That's what that yep. kind of reminds me of right but, there. And, mm -hmm. and Haiti? Mm -hmm. That's I say what that, that kind of reminds me of right there. I say that as a question. Yep. In Haiti? Is that where it was? The oh, tsunami? shit. I don't know where it was. Oh, you had you had that, that tsunami washed up in a couple of different places, but... Oh, okay. was, yeah, we had one in India. Of. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that, too, yeah. But that's what it reminds me of. And that's that's a lot of destruction. That looks like a scene out of, out of Saving Private Ryan. It looks like a scene out of this tsunami. It looks like a town that was decimated by 10 tornadoes in one shot. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. And they don't have wooden buildings over there. They have concrete buildings. Oh, yeah. Everything is concrete. Yeah. It's not like it's not like brick and mortar. Yeah. It's it's shit? like it's like concrete walls like yeah like you build in a garage you know a parking garage the way you build a parking garage like concrete slabs the only, the only now, now wait a minute i want you i want y'all to think about this for a second give me this give me y'all ear for a minute okay so there are tunnels all over gaza right where the fuck you think it, you see anything caved in Oh, it's a lot of shit caved ain't in. Ain't a goddamn, ain't a goddamn thing caved in. So those tunnels are still there. This, this, as I'm as I'm looking at this picture, um, the only thing I can think of is the amount of civilians that have lost their lives in those buildings. Uh -huh. Thank you. That's the only thing that I can think of. Yep. That's it. Cleaning up is such wussies. Like I like I've been like I've been screaming and preaching to the top of my lungs. If, if you suspect a Hamas terrorist at a refugee camp that you just told everybody to evacuate to, you don't bomb the refugee camp. You get the wussy ass IDF to go in there and find them. That's yep. what mm -hmm. you do. Yep. But you know what that tells this me? This is they don't this want is to how the Holocaust. This is how the Holocaust happened. That's it. Mm -hmm. I can't read that. I don't have my glasses out but here. Pe people always wonder how the Holocaust happened. Why did people look away? How could they let that sort of industrialized genocidal slaughter take place? How could so many remain silent, even supportive? Now we know how it happened. Gaza is showing us the answer to all of those questions. Yeah, yeah, I would agree with that statement. And, and like you, like you said, Swerve, you're like, how? You know, why didn't the IDF go in and, and look for them? Because they don't want to find them. No, they're just. Have you heard them saying? Have you heard them saying anything about the hostages? Nope. No. Yeah, while they're dropping all these freaking boom booms. 
What about the hostages? Yeah, what about your yeah, your own hostages that you was wanting to get back so so and what would they be saying? Most of the hostages that were released uh or a lot of them, I don't want to say most of them, but a lot of them were uh Taiwanese. You and know yeah, from Thailand. You know what got was it? me about yeah. that is when um again, that live we were in earlier today, um that dude that dude was sitting there talking about how um he was sitting there talking about they won't bring the women out um, because the women are are just going to say this and that and the other thing. I'm like, some women have been released and they have said that they were treated fairly. Yeah, but yeah, but they they treated all these hostages fairly. I'm like, no, they didn't, because some hostages have come out and said they spent 50 ground, 50 days underground with no water. They got a glass of water a day and no no hygiene. They couldn't take a shower or brush their teeth. Like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all, man? It is. But 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 wait 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 wait. But but you gotta understand, there are Palestinians in that same area. No food.